If you've used GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad, Cubasis is like GarageBand professional. <laughs> So it's got a lot of the same stuff GarageBand does, but it's got a whole lot more going for it. So you can do things like automating different things outside of volume. You've got much better control over your mixes. You've got some mastering channel strip plugins. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in Cubase. It's too much for me to talk about in a uh, in five minutes as we go through here, but this is what it looks like. Cubase's three mobile music creation system. Now I've forgotten what, what song I actually have in here that I was playing around with last time I demoed this, but let's just hit play. When when you open your eyes up to the sky above and you see yeah, so there is Cubasis. Uh, I like the layout of Cubasis. It's not going to be for everyone. And I think Russ just said he bought this and didn't like it. You know what? You're not going to like every app. And I don't want you to buy every app. I want you to go and check out my reviews, watch the video, see if it's going to be for you. And if it is, now's the best time to buy it because it is on sale. So yeah, the cool thing about Cubasis is you have your media browser down the bottom. Oh, <laughs> Cubasis. Now's not the time. You've got like, your keyboard down there and you've got your mixer. So it, you've always got your window here and the way it compartmentalizes your production actually works really well. So I like the use of the screen size. I like the layout. I like the little notes down the side here that we can use, the little menu options and all the color coding that we can do. So again, I, I haven't completely converted to Cubasis. If I was going to leave GarageBand, it would be to go to Cubasis. Sorry, GarageBand, I love you, but Cubasis does offer some pretty cool features if you want some next level production. Now, in terms of your pricing at the moment, it has uh, it has dropped and it is now, what did we see there? 29, so 23.99 down from 49. 99. That's a significant saving in anyone's language. So if you have been curious, if you've been thinking about it and uh, considering whether you should go and uh, check out Cubasis, now is probably the time. But again, you can check that out. And as Jade Star says, remember Cubasis 2 is also on sale and still considered more stable. Yeah, some folks really don't like Cubasis 3 because it's been unstable for them. Hasn't been my experience, but uh, yeah, if you check out uh, the video, you will find out exactly all my pros and cons and my conclusion. There's about four different Cubasis videos, and uh, again, they'll be linked down in the description. Now, we can't talk about Cubasis without talking about this next contender, which is uh, a little app that I like to call, well, I don't like to call it, it calls itself Aurea Pro. Let's take a look at this one once again. Half price. So this normally retails for $49.99. It's now $24.99. So Aurea Pro is like the, it's the closest to a desktop DAW of any of the mobile DAWs, if that makes any sense. So if you've come from the realms of Pro Tools or if you've been using other desktop DAWs like Cubase or Reaper or others, then Aurea Pro is going to feel right at home for you. Here's the thing with Aurea Pro though, <laughs> some people get a little bit intimidated by its pro workflow because it is legitimately pro workflow and that is, ah! I know the first time I opened this and started looking at it, I was like, wait, wait, what now? What am I doing? What am I looking at here? Because this looks more like your traditional desktop mixer interface. Yeah, you've got your aux sends here, you've got your pan, you've got your volume, you've got your FX, your record lights, your, your automation. It's all in here and you, you, you put in your, your, um, your plugins by actually like loading them into the strips. You then got your audio waveforms that look a lot like this. Again, similar sort of layout to Cubasis, but Again, desktop door style. You've got all of the buttons across here, and then you've actually got menus to process a lot of your stuff. So super duper powerful. Learning curve on this one's pretty steep. And again, if you're just joining us, I've got videos about my experience with Aurea Pro. It took me a little while to get used to it, but once I was used to it, it is ridiculously powerful. The other thing that some folks uh, have said about Aurea Pro is especially on some earlier iPads, it may not run as effectively. So there, there have been issues with crashing and having to uh, restart that some folks have. And, and again, I'm just telling you this because I want you to go into it eyes wide open. But again, in terms of the flexibility, look at this. We can zoom in, we can zoom out. You can grab these handles and move things around. You can change your um, different fade, like you, everything that you can imagine, everything that you have on any desktop DAW you have, and you can even scrooch them all down so they're nice and little like that. What what song was this? <laughs> I forget. I, I demonstrate these things occasionally, and I forget what song they're playing. Let's have a listen. Oh, 
<laughs> As if on cue, hit the play button, it closed. Sorry, Aurea Pro, honestly did not mean for that to be the case. Like with everything, like with GarageBand, like with Cubasis, if you're using any music creation software, save often, save regularly, and make sure you have backups of your projects. I think that's good advice for everyone and everything.